Today we're going to be talking about the FPV connections and wirings. Uh, this video is meant to be for those ones who are kind of new on the hobby and they maybe they do have their own quadcopter but they want to start um, seeing what the quadcopter can see. I mean they want to set up like an FPV system, first person view system and they are not really sure on how to wire the whole thing up. This is hopefully going to solve most of these issues um, and actually I'm going to be talking about two different setups. I'm going to be talking th about the most simple basic setup of FPV uh, that you can create and also I'm going to be talking a little bit more advanced on how to wire the whole thing taking into account also a no OSD. So OSD means on screen display and this would be the setup you would, you would like to have in case you want to also have live feed of maybe your battery voltage. So stay tuned for the video but before going there there is one small thing that I would like to test here in YouTube. It's the very first time I do it but what I would really like to know is what your interests are. I mean I'm putting a poll here with three different options and I would definitely like to encourage you to uh, just vote there on the poll. It's going to be just two clicks uh, and let me know what you what you could be interested on in seeing So let's start with the video So in order to set up a simple FPV actually this is going to be the most basic setup uh, And this is actually the setup that I have um, We will be needing at least a video transmitter and also a camera. Here I'm not taking into account the goggles to receive that but of course we will be needing also a goggles or a receiver to be able to, to receive the image. Uh, so that is going to be the main, the main basics. I'm actually including here the battery. In my case I'm using a 3S battery but um, this is just going to be my case and also it's going to help us uh, know what we need. The very first thing we're going to check is the battery voltage, the ranges for that. So in this case, this camera is from 5 to 20 volts and the video transmitter is from 7 to 24 and actually the battery is 12. So the battery can fit the camera and can also fit the, trans, uh, the transmitter. We won't have any problem. I uh, have to warn you here, if you are using this system like I'm going to explain you here, which is the most simple one, you will get a little bit of interference from the battery that it's going to go into your system. Uh, it's not crucial. I've had really really good results. I have to say that I'm playing it with uh, 200 millibats which is the I would say the average for this video transmitter but it's something just to take into account. As you know uh, there is the convention here so positive is, is red always and ground is always going to be black. And the, there is no actually convention for video or audio. Actually, if you see here on the image, I made it in purpose. I, I put on the transmitter audio as in yellow and video as in white. And on the camera, I put like the gray for audio and yellow for video. This is because there is no convention. So you will definitely take a look. You will definitely need to take a look and see uh, what is the color of your wire. Uh, but let's start connecting the things and actually one of the things to take into account also is this video transmitter has two different grounds that doesn't really matter you can connect to either one whatever it's easier for you they, they are connected inside the circuit so uh, that shouldn't be a problem so let's start connecting the grounds so you will need to connect the camera to the battery and also to a transmitter uh, by the way uh, one thing I'd like to say so this transmitter that I'm putting here is actually the transmitter I got and it's just awesome so if you are really starting and you don't really know the components please take a look at the review here we did the review for this and, and it's really really a good transmitter we actually did also the review for the camera and it's also a really good camera um, but there are other options on the market so it's pretty pretty simple we will be needing also the positive the positive is going to be all the way through the three different things so the red in the transmitter goes with the red in the battery and the, and the red on the camera also uh, there is no discussion here and to make it really really simple you will just need to put the 
video output from the camera to the video input from the transmitter. That's it. Actually, I put here like a pink color for my wire, just mentioning that there is no convention for the wiring color for the video. The same for the audio. If you do have audio, um, this is an, also another thing. So this camera does not have audio, but the transmitter supports the transmission of audio. So in my case, this is just an schematics here, but the camera, just to let you know, this H in 1000 TBL is not going to have uh, the audio, the audio wire. So let's go into something a little bit more complicated. Let's go into the FPV with an OSD. So first of all, we will need to know what an OSD is. So an OSD is the on-screen display, and as I was mentioning before at the very beginning of the video, this is in case you want to see like some additional information, like for example your battery or something like that. Actually, the battery charge is the crucial one, I would say. It's going to be a little bit more complicated, but not something to be scared about. It's really, really similar to the previous setup. The only thing is that the video wire that we used to have, we are going to cut it and we are going to put in the middle this OSD. But we'll go through it uh, in a little bit. And also, one of the things we will need to do is to tell the mini OSD, so to connect the mini OSD with the flight controller. This is done by one of these ports. Uh, it's the serial bus on the controller. And this actually has the four wires that we will be needing. This actually has the ground positive, uh, transmission, reception. Also on the mini OSD, we will have the very same setup. It's going to be the transmission, reception, positive and ground. Actually, we'll start fitting the video transmitter and also the camera. As we were explaining before, we are going to be using the battery. So we can definitely do it like this, like on the image. <laughs> Again, this is not the best setup, but this is something that it will definitely work. So it's really up to you. Actually, for me, I had no problem at all. Maybe a little bit of signal loss when I take off, but no more than that. I don't, I don't really see much, much issue there. This is already something we already knew. So let's go into some more details. So now let's connect the flight controller. So to connect the flight controller, it's really, really simple. We will just need to connect the transmitter, the transmission pin into the flight controller to the reception pin into the, for the mini OSD and, and the other way around. So the reception pin on the flight controller is going to be connected to the transmission pin on the mini OSD. Um, actually, that is the main thing. And also we will, we will of course need to fit this mini OSD. Uh, so we will just put it like this. And now the question is going to be, why are we connecting the mini OSD to the flight controller and not straight to the battery? And the reason for that, there is always a reason for things. And the reason for this is going to be that the mini OSD is working with five volts, whereas the battery is a 3S, it's an 11 volt battery. So that will, if we would connect the positive and ground for the mini OSD directly to the battery that could burn uh, straight away the mini OSD. So that could be pretty much the main thing. And of course, we will be needing also to, to connect the video in and video out. Um, as per the image, you can already guess how that's going to go. But also I'm going to explain you the main feature of the OSD. I mean, for, from my experience, why I, why I really wanted to have an OSD is mainly to have the battery voltage uh, on screen. So for that, we will be needing to connect additionally these two, um, these two wires here. And this is actually optional. This is not like a requirement, but if you want to know the voltage on your battery, uh, this is what you need to do. The very last cable that we need to do is th the cable that was going straight from the camera to the video transmission. It's going to be split in this case and it's going to be from the camera to the mini OSD and from the mini OSD to the video transmission. And actually the mini OSD is the one that is in charge to modify the signal on the camera and add also those parameters that it's receiving from the flight controller. Um, just one, just a quick note here. 
so we haven't talked at all about the audio so the audio goes straight from the camera to the video transmitter as it was before no other difference at all uh, but that would mean the, the the audio is not is not being formatted hope this explains a little bit how to connect the different components here on how how to get your FPV feed there on your goggles I uh, hope this clarifies some of the doubts here um, if you have any additional questions please absolutely free to reach me at any point uh, I'm also going to be adding here a link um, on the review for the 18 1000 TBL uh, it's not the very best camera on the market uh, but if you're thinking on buying it I mean it's not bad at all I think it costs like $10 so I'm going to be posting like the review there for the camera so that you can take a look at it. Uh, of course, as I was mentioning before, this 18 is, is just awesome. I, I really like it. And actually one thing that I'm not mentioning in this video is how to do that when you have a flight controller with integrated OSD. Um, and I'm the reason why I'm not explaining this is because it's really, really easy. I mean, it's pretty much the basic FPV setup, the very first setup that we were talking about at the very beginning. The only thing you need to do is uh, just change so the video is not going straight to the the video feed is not going straight from the camera to the transmission, it's going from the camera to the flight controller and from the flight controller to the transmission. So to the 18. So hope it was really useful. Um, please follow us and follow us here on the channel. Uh, we are going to be posting some more videos, with new tutorials, new reviews, um, maybe some new flights if I get the components that I need. And hope you like it. Thank you and have a nice day.